We had fun making our painted papers last week. You should have a paper that you can use for your sunflower petals. And if you don't like the one that you have, you can always um, exchange it for another one um, in the basket over on the supply counter. I've got lots of extras that you can use. Now, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna focus on the petals. And so I'm gonna choose some of these yellowy orange tones for those petals. When I make a petal, the first thing that I do is I wanna make lots of them together. So I'm gonna fold the paper in half and then I'm gonna fold it in half again. And this way, when I draw my petal, I'll actually be cutting out four petals at once. Remember, we drew um, those nice shapes that looked like a combination of an oval and a triangle, or as some of you thought they looked like a teardrop and or a raindrop. And we're gonna draw, I'm gonna draw a couple of these on the white side of the paper. I don't wanna draw on the inside of the paper. I wanna draw on the white side. If you make a mistake, all you have to do is grab a, an eraser and erase the part that you don't like and draw it again. If you make a really bad mistake, you can actually flip it over. Now, I'm gonna cut these out and when you cut them out, if it feels like it's too thick, you can open them up and just do two at a time. But I like actually being able to have four petals at once because you can get more accomplished in a shorter period of time. I'll cut out my second petal. And the cool thing about using the back is that even if you don't cut exactly on the lines, it doesn't matter because they're not really gonna show. Now I've got some petals. And before I start gluing, I'm actually going to um, arrange my paper. Now hopefully you put your name on the back of your background paper. And if you didn't, you can always um, write it down here at the bottom. But make sure you put your name and your class code right here. All right, Mrs. Gold. Now, when I arrange my petals, you can decide, do I want one large sunflower? Do I want two little sunflowers? You can put them however you want. I might actually do one there and then do another one over in this area. Now this, I, I kind of like the way this is looking. I like the way that those are arranged. And so I'm gonna go ahead and glue those down before I even put my center on. But when you're using my glue, you wanna Take off the dry glue off the top of it first. Pick that off with your finger, open it up, and you're ready to go. If you put too much glue on it, you will get your paint wet again and it will um, smear all over your paper. So we just wanna put a couple dabs of glue. Just put like two little dabs of glue. And then I'll place that down. I like the way this is turning out. You can overlap some of your petals, or you can spread them out the way I'm spreading them out. I like to make sure that I get a little glue on each end of it so that they stay, stay down, just like that. Now, I can set this aside for later. Then you wanna take another paper, maybe for the center. You kind of have to gauge how big that you want it to be. But again, I turn it over and I draw my circle in the back. I suggest starting with a larger circle than you think you'll need because you can always make it smaller by cutting it down, but you can't make it larger. You'd have to restart. Cut mine a little bit larger there. So I'm gonna flip this over and this is where I'll place it. And I like that. I like the way I that turned out. I think that looks great. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue this down. Now, if you run out of time, and we don't have time for any more today, all you have to do is take all your scraps, take all your papers, put them inside your sketchbook, 
and take the paper that has the glue on it and put this paper on the drying rack.